Alexander Potter, the senior research analyst at the Piper Jaffray and Company Investment House noticed how quickly the trucking industry dismissed claims by Tesla Incorporated that its planned electric semi-truck could satisfy long-distance freight demands. Potter wrote in a report to investors issued this week, it's easy to say, the batteries are too heavy, or the batteries are too costly, and declare the incumbents victorious, but such back-of-the-envelope rebuttals aren't good enough in this case. Potter said, gauging the capability of the Tesla truck accurately has important implications for investors, motor carriers and the entire U.S. freight and logistics sector. After researching the physics of electric transportation and talking to freight and logistics experts Potter built a model analyzing the functionality and economics of Tesla's semi. The result? Potter said, the Tesla truck could achieve a two-year payback, but read the fine print, because assumptions matter. Every fleet is different, and without knowing all of the details underlying Tesla's assertions, it's impossible to stress test the company's claims. Potter said the cost of the Tesla truck, not the weight, is the biggest X factor. Potter said, we aren't concerned about weight or other performance-related characteristics. We have examined weight and its impact on energy efficiency, and we think fleets can minimize any negative impact by right-sizing the battery and specifying lightweight parts. He said, cost is a bigger unknown. He said, but here's where Tesla has an advantage. It's the biggest builder of electric passenger vehicles. That gives it scale for sourcing and producing motors and inverters and most importantly batteries. Lowering the cost of batteries is key to the success of electric vehicles. Tesla models will come with two ranges, 300 miles and 500 miles, depending on the size of the battery. Tesla chief executive Elon Musk said the trucks will sell for $150,000 for the small range and $180,000 for the one with the bigger capability. Environmental incentives in various states could slash the purchase price. A typical diesel semi-truck is $100,000 to $150,000 depending upon its purpose and configuration. Potter said, this all points to the business case for electric trucks and Tesla's offering, that there are still many questions to be answered. He asked, for instance, will fleets need to replace batteries, at a substantial cost, in response to eventual range degradation, or will they be able to redeploy older trucks to lower mileage routes? As with conventional diesel truck purchase, Fleets will want to know how much unforeseen maintenance costs or other reasons for downtime the truck will experience. Will its range be affected by hot or cold weather? How will Tesla service the truck? Finally, don't expect the rest of the truck industry to stand still. Almost every major truck brand is working on an electric truck, a truck that combines a hydrogen fuel cell with an electric powertrain or both. Chief Executive Troy Clark said his company will have more electric trucks on the road than Tesla by 2025. Tesla could spur change in diesel trucks, which would hurt its business case. Potter asked, why can't diesel competitors mimic Tesla's impressive drag coefficient, and if they do, will it become harder to deliver a payback versus diesel? Potter said he plans to keep updating his model as more information becomes available. See here for the technical details behind his conclusions. Tesla, which introduced its semi in November, has collected hundreds of reservations. But it has yet to build a truck for a customer. It plans to launch production in 2019. At some later point this year, Tesla said earlier, it should ramp up production to 10,000 Model 3s weekly. Electric automaker Tesla Inc. has again fallen short of production goals for its new Model 3 sedan. The company also revealed that it delivered a total of 29,870 cars during the most recent quarter, including 15,200 Model S. 13,120 Model X and 1,550 Model 3. 
the good people over at Unside EVs have done their tabulating, and the numbers are in. In 2017, very almost 200,000 electric vehicles were sold in the US. According to Tesla, of the 2,425 Model 3 vehicles produced in the fourth quarter, 793 of them, almost 33% were made in the last seven working days of the quarter. Tesla said, as a result of the significant growth in our production rate, we made as many Model 3s since December 9 as we did in the more than four months of Model 3 production up to that point, explaining that this is why it wasn't able to deliver many of these cars during the holiday season, just before the quarter ended. Analysts had expected 4,100 Model 3 sedans to be delivered in the fourth quarter, according to financial data and analytics firm Factset. Pre-orders for the Model 3 were through the roof after the company announced the launch, reaching over half a million by July 2017 a year after the announcement. It also delivered 220 Model 3s in the third quarter. Analysts had expected total deliveries of about 30,000. The company said another 2,520 Model S and X vehicles and 860 Model 3 vehicles were in transit to customers at the end of the quarter. These will be counted as deliveries in Q1 2018. Tesla says it made significant progress in reducing unspecified production bottlenecks toward the end of the fourth quarter. This is why we were not able to deliver many of these cars during the holiday season, just before the quarter ended. But the company said it's focusing on quality and plant efficiency, not just meeting volume targets. By the end of Q2, that should double to 5,000 per week. The Model 3 is critical to Tesla's long-term success, as it is the most affordable of its cars to date and is the only one capable of transforming the niche car maker to a mass producer amid a sea of rivals entering the nascent electric vehicle market. In a statement Wednesday, the company thanked those buyers, who continue to stick by us while patiently waiting for their cars. Tesla said, our delivery count should be viewed as slightly conservative, as we only count a vehicle as delivered if it is transferred to the customer and all paperwork is correct. Elon Musk may yet convince skeptics that an electric semi-trailer is a better buy than diesel. Tesla has said its electric truck will save owners money over diesel trucks over time, but skeptics so far have expressed doubts and have clamored for more data and validation. A new report from Piper Jaffray suggests Tesla's semi-buyers could begin saving money over diesel engines after two years of ownership. Piper Jaffray analyst Alexander Potter said he thinks EV trucks will succeed factoring the costs of variables such as engine manufacturing fuel electricity and maintenance, along with assumptions about how customers are likely to use a large commercial semi-trailer. According to Potter, electric vehicles do appear to cost much more to manufacture. For example, he estimates the cost of all parts on a diesel truck that would not be needed on an electric vehicle to be $37,128 while the cost of parts needed on an EV, but not a diesel, would be much higher, at $82,720. That is mostly due to the battery pack, which is estimated at $54,500 installed. However, the costs of repairing, refueling and maintaining an electric vehicle are lower. Yearly spending on those expenses runs $35,676 for diesel truck. The electric truck would cost less than half, $14,306. At that rate, electric trucks would recoup their extra costs over diesel then begin saving money in about 2.1 years, Potter said. Potter said, other factors are needed for future versions of the payback model, particularly around costs. For example, it is not known whether fleets will need to spend significantly more to replace batteries as they degrade, or if they will be able to solve that problem by redeploying older trucks to lower mileage routes. 
There also may be unforeseen maintenance costs or downtime and effects on performance from extreme weather. Tesla also said it has been able to improve range by reducing drag on the sleek vehicle as it drives. But diesel manufacturers could make similar improvements to their trucks, reducing the Tesla Semi's edge.